Let's talk about our top stories. First up, DeFi lender Celsius halted transactions this morning as crypto markets tanked. Immediately for the whole week following June 12, I remember I had trouble sleeping, I couldn't sleep, I was like shaking up at the news, I just couldn't believe the news or you know what's really going on. I do think the three-letter acronym agencies in this country did drop the ball in letting this happen to regular Americans depositing <laughs> real money into this exchange. Okay, so Alex, do I have your permission to show you that you email me the exact opposite of what you came on and told the community and you lied to the community again I, I after don't, lying in okay. every AMA? You, said it, did I you, lied did on you every know? AMA. Did you I, did you know that there was a hole when you called me and told me everything was fine? Did you know there was a hole? I cannot respond to any of these things. Because You've got, you must be taking tremendous risk to generate those returns. Of course you are. Risk. Wait, I, th I thought this yield just came magically from the sky. We just we just promised a rate and then the coin showed up in your wallet. And, and I, it was I know it seems bad. that way. I know it seems that way. It's kind of like that old phrase that money grows on trees. In all of the AMAs, he said that your money's safe. I will personally guarantee it. We have $2 billion on the balance sheet. Um, don't worry, an insurance is coming. I can assure you that none of the people, not one, not one person who is fighting Celsius has ever done uh, live shows or provided their f weekly numbers or disclosed their uh, uh, financial situation or provided any details. That Alex never mentioned, he never talked about um, there was a lot of deception basically so we as customer were like unaware of all these actions all the things that he tried to hide and cover up only at Celsius we figured out how to make money for all of us while you huddle that is the magic of Celsius